morning everybody and Saturday it's a beautiful day they reckon the temperature's gonna go up to as much as 25 degrees today which is absolutely amazing um, it was beautiful yesterday as well but I gave myself a rest from filming um, and just potted about the garden um, at will we did quite a few little jobs and that but made it quite a relaxing day really so today I thought I'd start filming again because um, when I got up this morning the first thing I did is walk around the garden and I've made myself yet another list so I'm just going to go through some of the things that I need to do and um, I'll take you around the garden and show you but um, one of the things I really need to get going on is my bean bed I've been putting off moving the bird feeder because every time I think right I'll do it now all the birds descend into the garden so I don't want to disturb them but I think I'm just going to have to take um, take the opportunity to do it now um, they tend to come in waves they feed quite early in the morning and then late morning mid afternoon there's a flourish of them and then they come back about tea time so and try and pick a period of time in between where I can move it without disturbing them too much so that's one of the things I need to do and once I've moved that I can then start constructing my bean frame so that's always quite a chore but having done it it's it's exciting because that just reminds me that we're heading into the late spring summer where all my beans will start to be planted and it's just a wonderful time so I won't go through all the lists now, I'll walk around the garden and I'll point out what needs to be done. So just for now, I'm going to finish my coffee. You won't be able to see because of where my camera's pointing, but I've got a beautiful blackbird sitting on my fruit cage. I might be able to turn it around. Let me just see if I can swap it over. There it is. I didn't seem to have any blackbirds last year, but I've seen a pair feeding going back into my neighbour's plum tree, so I think they've got a nest there, or if not in that tree, quite close by, so that's quite exciting. just had a nice little surprise um, two of my colleagues just rang me they're on duty this morning and they said um, are you home I said yes I am and they said oh well, come to your front door because we're around the corner and we've got a little something for you and I, but don't get excited so <laughs> I had no idea what it was so I waited from out the front and um, yeah, hi Max, hi Emma. Max, well they both ran down their windows but Max shouted to me, keep your distance and then just chuck that at me. So I've got some mini eggs for Easter. So thank you girls. That's made my day. You don't need a big expensive egg to put a smile on anyone's face. They have made me so happy and I love you two girls very much. Stay safe today. I'm back in the greenhouse because um, I wanted to show you how much growth I've had in just a few days. So the leeks are doing beautifully. They're okay. And my sprouting broccoli, I haven't decided where they're going yet, but I need to start planning 
my peas, which I've just given a second soak. I watered them yesterday, but a few of the cells don't seem to have um, absorbed any of the moisture that or the water that they were standing in, so they were a bit droopy. So I've given them a good soak. Got my lemons, they're doing well. Again, they need repotting. Keep saying it, but then I get caught up doing other jobs and they get neglected, so I really need to think about that. And then, not sure what I'm going to do with my tomatoes. They definitely need to be potted on because they can't stay in those little pots. But I've got to decide whether I'm going to put them in the garden this year or keep them in the greenhouse. Last year they weren't very successful in the greenhouse and towards the end of the season they were looking really bad. And when I finally pulled them up, they were absolutely full of ants. There was really um, established ants nests tunnelled all through where the roots are. So I think that was the issue with those. Um, but if I decide to keep them in the greenhouse, one, I haven't got any large grow bags. And my other issue, I haven't got the pots I normally stand them in. So just to explain why I can't put my tomatoes in these pots is because these are my Christmas potatoes, would you believe? I planted these, I think it was late September, early October, and they did nothing all winter. Didn't get any new fresh potatoes for Christmas. And uh, now suddenly they've started sprouting, so I don't really want to disturb them. I mean, the pots aren't actually big enough for the potatoes, but they'll they'll have to do um so i might end up putting my tomatoes in the garden um and risk blight i also have my main crop potatoes cara to sow um but i've got to sort out what i'm going to put them in because i'm running out of containers now sewn some nasturtiums poppies cornflowers and valerian to add extra color in the garden because at the moment um i've got no bedding plants at all to go in my pots and having not foreseen circumstances this year i hadn't bought any seeds to grow them myself simply because i didn't think i'd have enough room in the greenhouse Normally I buy my bedding plants from the local garden centre but of course they're all closed at the moment because of the lockdown. So I managed to get onto um, Sutton's website yesterday but it, it took me several days to be able to get into it because you have to wait in a queue. But I was successful um, and I have altered some plugs of petunias, geraniums and some calendula seed. Now I had a lot of calendula last year. And I was convinced I'd kept a load of seed, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So, um, yeah, so I've ordered those, but Lord knows when they're going to come. So I've sown these in the meantime, just to try and add extra colour in the garden. I've also got a hollyhop that needs to go out as well. My courgettes have now germinated. But the sweet peppers, nothing. And another strange thing... This is a different variety of sweet corn that I've grown this year. And I've got six that have germinated and the remainder haven't, which is really strange. So what I've done is yesterday, after giving it all a good soak, I've put more seeds in each pot. So I'm either going to end up with the 18 plants that I want, or there's going to be two per pot if they both germinate. So I've no idea what's going on. We'll see. And my sweet peas, these need to go out um, to be hardened off. Now, if you're new to this and you don't know what that means, it is getting your seedlings acclimatised to the outside weather. So these have been growing in the greenhouse where they're sheltered and it's warm. Um, but if they're in frost, it could kill them off overnight. So the best thing to do is during the day like today, and what I'll do in a minute is I'll put them outside in the sun and it gives them a chance to acclimatise, but it also makes them a stronger plant because with the breeze, they start to sway about and that helps um, develop their roots. They anchor themselves 
uh, more. Probably not explaining myself properly, but it just makes a better plant. Right, so I've come over to the beans and I've got one runner bean that's starting to germinate and the soil's cracking on the other pots so they'll be pushing through soon. I've also got, if you can see that, French climbing bean coming through. Nothing from the blotter yet and nothing from the climbing. But I think we might see more progress by the end of the day and certainly by tomorrow. There's a couple of jobs I've done this afternoon, so as that kale there and that one there, I've just moved them. They were up either side of the chard. I didn't really want them there because I need all that space. So I dug up quite a big root ball and I firm them in as much as I can. They've had an absolute drenching. They're not wilting, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they're going to survive. If they don't, it's not a great loss, because I've never grown it before. But um, So that's one job I've done. Next job I've done, I've just earthed up all these potatoes. So, topped them up with a mixture of compost and um, farmyard manure. They've had a good soak. So that's another job on my list that I've ticked off. Oh, it's quite late afternoon. It's a lot cooler now in the garden because the sun's up the far end, so the greenhouse is not so hot. I think earlier on today it was 42 degrees and it's dropped 10 degrees now to 32. I don't know if you can see that. And with the um, door open, it's not too bad. So. This is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to sow my mixed salad leaves, basil, and the Lolo Rosso, which is um, really pretty lettuce. Um, it goes dark red and will add a pop of colour to the garden. So I'm going to crack on and do that now. Okay, so I've prepped my trays, done my labels. I'm going to do uh, two fours and eight cells of basil, eight of the mixed salad leaf and eight of the Lola Rosso. So let's start with the Lola Rosso. Remember what I said last time, if they're tiny seeds we're just going to scatter them on the top, lightly cover them with sifted um, compost and then water them from below so they don't float about. So these are tiny. Can you see those? I'm just going to put a few in each cell. Now I'm going to do the mixed salad leaf. Oh, so these look like little mustard seeds, they're tiny. Can you see those? Slightly different colours, which I suppose is because they're mixed. They're quite hard to see on the soil. You've just got to trust that you've spaced them reasonably well. As they start to grow, you can brick them out, thin them out. Give that a good 20 minutes now to soak.
two jobs done today so far. I've managed to get the beam frames up, which I planned to do yesterday. Um, but it's time consuming. Anyway, they're up now and I've moved the bird feeder and the birds have found it straight away. So it's not an issue. So that's all sorted. So I've just made myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to have a break. Okay. This I'm excited about. I got excited with the last cauliflower I picked, but this is just surpassed them, them all. <laughs> Everything's a mess. <laughs> Look at that. I cannot tell you how chuffed I am. Look at the size of that. 